Hey guys, it is 2.16. Um, I decided to come help out at my job for six hours. So I went in like 6.53, clocked in, and then I clocked out around like 1.10. So I am at a new coffee shop and I'm excited because I really need a coffee right now. I'm on, my, I'm on my like downward, not my downward spiral, not my blackout Britney era, but like. my like caffeine low time of day kind of thing so i need a coffee right now so we are going into a han coffee i gotta book some flights i gotta get some editing done so yeah i'll take you guys along with me to a new cafe bye i was really excited to try this place because the pictures online were so beautiful minimalistic and traditionally korean the word hen is a concept of emotion a form of grief or resentment in korean 2020 is the birth year of hen coffee and it was the offspring of four first generation korean americans who took inspiration from their korean roots and infused it to not only the style and decor of the cafe but also the delicious drinks and bites to eat out of all the coffee shops i have been to in the area this definitely wins as far as interior design and aesthetic. I love the vibe, the clean lines, and pops of color with the artwork. gigantic mansion. Um, the kitchen, the sitting room, which are both incredibly minimal and monochromatic, and three of her cars, which also purposely match her house. How cute is this bathroom though? It smells so good guys. I love the smell. Bougie. guys so today i'm gonna go shadow the wound care nurse but like i um, woke up early because i wanted to go to a cafe and not just have an espresso this morning so um we're kind of switching it up doing another cafe vlog um so i'm hitting up lineage coffee i've been here i want to say twice but it's been like years since i've been here um but it was like only it was one of the only places that was open around seven that opened at seven o'clock on a sunday so it's like my choices were limited but um i'm always down for a good coffee so let's get to it um i have to go in early at the hospital to do some continuing education bullshit so fun for me um i was like getting stressed out because like i like got into the parking lot there's like literally no one here there's like three cars and um there's i couldn't see anyone inside the freaking um coffee shop so i was like okay like i know it's memorial day weekend honey but like it's too early to get drunk so why is there nobody here but um now that i'm looking closer um there there's like two or three people in there so i think we're good 
The last time I was inside Lineage Coffee Roasting was November 2018. I'm curious to see if anything has changed five years later. Currently, there are three active locations of Lineage Coffee Roasting since Jarrett and Justine decided to start a coffee business way back in January 2012. In 2015, Lineage began opening trade relationships with Brazil, Colombia, Guatemala, and Kenya to get the best coffee for their brick and mortar. This location is actually their second location, which opened in December of 2017. The interior design is minimalistic, but in a Scandinavian way, whereas Hun was also minimalistic but in a Korean way. I love the stained glass centerpiece though, that's my favorite. guys so i just finished at lineage coffee my cold brew was giving it was everything i loved it um the guy who rang me up was nice um he was like oh so what are you doing today i was like oh, i'm going to work unfortunately or whatever i said but yeah there was it was like a very hipster like scene aesthetic vibe it was a really good cold brew i can feel the energy it's giving the cold brews brewing honey and i'm ready to start my day i'm kind of jittery right now and like oh i just feel like i need to like do a five mile run because like i feel the energy like oh my god what a difference but i am leaving lineage coffee now i'm gonna go shout out the wound care nurse and um go do some continuing education all right guys so i am here um i'm gonna go shadow the wound care nurse i'm here doing some continuing education first and then i'm gonna meet the wound care nurse at 10 so that's what the day is looking like and i'm ready to do it i'm like high off the cold brew right now she's giving literally why do families always bring nurses the most unhealthiest snacks literally it's like gross like it's all sugar like what the hell that just sounds fucking disgusting, by the way. Key lime Oreos, ew. Hey guys, so I just got out of the wound care thing. Um, I stayed there longer than I thought I would be, but you know what, like we were just getting into our groove and I got like high off the cold brew. I like still, I was like so amped up and I just had like a shot, my, um, shot of espresso with the matcha that I packed so I'm like honey the energy is like flowing right now but I had a good day like I love shadowing the wound care nurse she's like so knowledgeable she's freaking awesome like I said in my last few videos like she's the perfect wound care nurse and the perfect person to learn from so um you know like why wouldn't you want to learn from the best you know so it was good we ended up doing two wound backs at the end I'm still on the fence with like if I want to do this or not like I really do enjoy wounds and it's like getting out of bedside but it's like there's still like a lot of stuff like I need to get to the routine I need to like find my way you know I'm still like second guessing myself with like um you know like what does it look like is it granulated is it non-granulated is it necrotic is it S you know like I know it I just like when I'm on the spot I get nervous and like I like second guess myself and um, you know, the wound care nurse said, you know, in the beginning, she was like that too. She wasn't sure, but like, it's just like practice. It's like anything you need to see it often, you need to keep practicing and then you'll, you know, you'll be able to like, do it like one, two, three, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I have to go. What the heck is A, B, C, D, E, F, G mean? 
you know, I'm really trying to like find something outside of bedside. Like I've been applying to like at home jobs and remote jobs. Time will only tell, but I know that I need to get out of bedside because I don't want to. It's a, the stress of continually like, am I going to go in and float? Like, am I going to med surge? Like, I don't want to deal with that stress every day. It's very stressful. And that's what's killing me is the unknown uncertainty. Um, but I'm on the way home now. We're going to have a Sunday fun day, have a drink. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys. Um, so I just got out of um, work. I did six hours. I just helped out. I wasn't scheduled today, but I was like, okay, like I can do six hours and meet my friend at the coffee shop, get some editing done. And I wanted to try this place called Lobos. My friend said that it was really good. So we're going to meet up. Um, but this weather just is not it, honey. I'm not a rain person at all. I don't like to get wet, especially when I'm not prepared for it. But um, I'm gonna go get some coffee, meet my friends, um, and hopefully this coffee is good and it's worth getting wet for. Bye. Lobos Coffee was created by Tony Villa Lobos, who fell in love with the smell of coffee when he visited his grandma's coffee farm in Panama as a child. From then on, his goal was to have a coffee house to call his own. To date, Lobos has 35 unique lattes, 7 global farms, and 13 outdoor tables. Inside, it is very bright and inviting. Nothing really stands out as far as interior decor here, but I will say I like the neon light fixture of their mascot, which is a wolf. Get it? Lobos means wolf in Spanish. And the fact that they also support local businesses is, is really fantastic. Um, excuse me, uh, what's the Wi Fi password? There's no password, it's gonna ask you for your email address. Oh, okay, thanks. I'm not surprised. It, but okay, now you'll recognize that. All the way to the left. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed another cafe hopping vlog with me. Which was your favorite cafe of the three? Be sure to check out my other cafe hopping vlogs on my channel and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.